Minamoto, can you go take their order? Sure. I'm Atsuchi Nakamura. I'm 29. I was a manager at this karaoke parlor. We were open 24-7, and there were about 15 employees here. Hey, I think I'm going to have to repeat a year. <laughs> so I get to work here for another year. <laughs> oh, uh, you should go to school. You work here five days a week. I do go to school, but, uh, I don't really go to class. Studying isn't my thing. Uh... Wait, can I get a job here? Well, you've been working here for three years now, and you're good at this, so... I guess, but... Really awesome! Then I'll just work here full-time. Most of my employees were young kids in college like her. They were all really nice and fun to work with. This is Elisa Minamoto. She started working here right after I got promoted to manager. But, uh, you should get your degree. You came this far. Yeah, I guess. Hey, uh, the customers in room 605 are fighting. Should I stop them? What? They're fighting? I'll go see! Wait here! Okay... We served alcohol too, so sometimes our customers cause trouble. Sometimes work was tough, but overall, I like this job a lot. You okay? Did they hit you? Nah, I'm fine. Alright, I'm gonna head out now. Okay! Bye! Later! See ya! I haven't talked to Rika in a while. I started dating this girl named Rika about six months ago. The karaoke parlor I worked at was located on the fifth and sixth floor of this building. And Rika worked at this other store on the fourth floor. I met her on the elevator one day. It was late that night, and I was heading back home. Then she came into the elevator as I was going down. Hey, uh, are you the manager at the karaoke place? Yeah? I heard your employees talking about you. They were saying how handsome you were, so... <laughs> oh, uh... They were lying. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks! After that, we started talking more often, and... Two weeks later, we started dating. I work here now, but I got a dream. I've been saving up for a while now. Oh, uh, yeah? What's your dream? I want to open my own store here someday. Cool! She was 24 and fresh out of college. She didn't get a job like her classmates, though. She was saving up money to pursue her dreams. I was always busy with work, and... My past girlfriends? Some of them didn't like that. But Rika? She was very understanding. Last time I saw her was like two weeks ago. Atsushi, you're the manager there, right? Yeah, my dad is the owner, and we got about three stores around the city. Wow, that's awesome. You must be making a lot of money. I'm so jealous. I wish you'd invest in me. Then I'd be able to start my own place in no time. <laughs> well, I don't make that much, to be honest. And the hours are really long, too, so... Last time I saw her, we ate dinner at my house. We didn't get to a fight or anything, but maybe I said something to upset her. Because after that, she stopped calling me. I should text her. But the next morning, my inbox was empty. I was starting to get worried. What did I do? 
Are you okay? Huh? Yeah. Come on, snap out of it. I got work to do. You don't look so well. You should rest. I'm fine, really. I was just thinking about what to eat for dinner. Sir, room 514. The customer is really drunk. Mine needs help. What? Okay! Hey, stop! Leave her alone! Thank you. Don't worry, I'll bring the food to his room. I was worried about Rika, but I decided not to think about it during work. Then... Hey, wait up! Hey! Ah, hey guys! You guys wanna grab something to eat? Yay, thanks! Alright, I'm broke right now, so you're a lifesaver! Never said I was buying. But then on our way to a nearby diner... Rika? I saw Rika. She was holding hands with another man. Who's that? I... I think that's my girlfriend. Wait, what? You had a girlfriend? So she's cheating on you? I think so. But then, before I could say anything else, Rika noticed me and walked up to me. Atsushi? Uh... What's going on here? Look, I'm just gonna come out and say it. You're not the guy I thought you were. You work at a karaoke parlor with a bunch of young kids. So I thought you'd like to party, but you're just a lame wad. You're so boring. What the? And even though you're rich, you don't spend any money on me. She started yelling at me for no reason. Uh... That's my new boyfriend, so we're done here. He's nothing like you. He's not a loser like you. Whatever. I had no idea Rika was like this. I just stood there in silence, not knowing what to say. But then, Minamoto-san walked up to her and her boyfriend. Wait, Hikaru, what are you doing here? Elisa! And hey, don't say my real name out loud! I go by Louis the 13th at the club! Louis the what? Looks like Minamoto-san knew him. Wait, so... You're dating her now? You're joking, right? Shut up, guys! She's one of my best clients! Keep your mouth shut! Louise, what's going on here? How stupid are you? He's a host. He's only using you for money. You really thought he was in love with you? Give me a break. Yeah, what's wrong with Mr. Nakamura? Yeah, are you really blind or something? I'd choose him over Hikaru any day of the week. What? I... Hikaru, I like when was the first time you saw her? Uh, about eight months ago. Oh, so... I guess you were seeing her first. And that kind of makes me the bad guy. Uh, sorry, but... Don't worry, I won't talk to her again. Oh, uh, it's fine. I'm just a host, so don't worry about it. Sorry about all this. I didn't mean to cause you any trouble. Wait. See you later, Elisa! You okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit confused. Come on, let's just go. Yeah, forget about her! You can do much better than her! Come on, let's go eat! Sure. 
So we headed to the diner. So, uh, why didn't you tell us you had a girlfriend? You never asked. Where did you meet her? She actually works on the fourth floor. I ran into her in the elevator and she started hitting on me and stuff. You made the right call leaving her. If what Hikari said is true, she's spending 15,000 at Aya's club every month. She's in debt for sure. There's no way she makes that much money every month. Yeah, she definitely came after him for money. I bet she has a bunch of sugar daddies. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I kind of feel bad. Why? Well, cause I never gave her money. And I usually just cook for her at my house, so. <laughs> really? Yeah, I like to cook, so. No fair. Huh? I'd be mad too if I was her. Why? Elisa's always liked you. You never noticed that? I know you just broke up with your girlfriend, but she's probably as upset as you are. Yeah. Why choose her over me? I'm clearly the better choice. I'd be thrilled if you invited me out to dinner. Oh, uh, in that case, you want to come over next weekend? Huh? You could come too, Taishi. Cool! You're not very good with women, are you? <sighs> I guess not. Anyways, thanks, guys. I kind of feel better now. Dinner's on me tonight! Sir! Sure. Talking to them made me feel much better. I was able to forget about Riku within a few days. I heard she quit her job too, and I never saw her after that. Are you sure we could go to your house tomorrow? Yeah, no worries! A few weeks later, I invited Minamoto and Taishi over to my house for dinner. Wow, this is amazing! You should charge people money for this! You're like a pro! And your room is so clean! Thanks! Hey, I met Hikari the other day. I was right about your ex. She's up in her neck in debt. I hear she's working at a brothel now. Wait, she's still coming to see you? Yeah, I try my best to avoid her, though. I guess I knew nothing about Rika. But from what I'm hearing, I think I dodged a bullet. I barely knew her, so I had no idea. <laughs> Don't worry about it too much. Forget her! Hey, you're over her, right? Yeah. Then go out with me already. Whoa! Anyways, it was a rough couple of months, but... I guess everything worked out. Think about it, okay? You can have all the time in the world, but you can't go out with anyone else until you give me your answer, okay? Okay... Going out with someone for their money, that'll never end well. Anyways, I sure hope things work out between Alyssa and Atsushi. Hope you liked today's episode. What do you guys think of today's story? Please let me know in the comment section below. See you guys next time. Bye bye Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.